Okay, we are getting there. Something about that name. It uh, this one kind of breaks all the rules of normal theory because it has a lot of majors, and uh, saying it's in the key of C, and you'll end up with a lot of major chords uh, in this. So I wanted to explain that a little better for you. But let's start by the majors and the major sevens, and the dominant sevens are just seven. So. Let's start with C, we know C, C, E, and G. If it says major seven, it's just a half step away from whatever chord I'm in. So I just take my thumb and I flat it a half step. So then I have a C major seven. We're looking at that intro where we have, it's three, four time, so it's one, two, three, then C major seven is the second measure, two, three, then back to C, two, C major seven. Okay, we get to the verse. So then we're gonna do the, we're gonna learn about the C7 or dominant seven. Major seven's a half step away from the root. Dominant seven, or just seven, is how it's written on the sheet, is a whole step. So everything else is the same. I got a normal C, E, G, major chord, major seven, I flat. Still the E and G on top, and Still the E and G on top for that one. So that verse is Jesus, Jesus. My left hand never moves. Jesus. And I just go to a normal F chord. There's just something about. That's an F minor with a B flat in the bass. So F minor slash B flat. So I find my B flat. And then I flat my third here and make this F minor. About that name. Go back to my C. Then finish up on G. Two, three. Then Master. Same deal as the first line. Savior. There's my C major seven. Then Jesus. That's my C seven. Then I'm going to go to a D major chord, like the fragrance. Then after is a D7, so I don't need major seven, I need seven. So I move it a whole step. After the, then a D minor chord, rain. Then my G7, as I make a G chord, and then I, then back to the same line for, next line is Jesus, C. Jesus, C major seven. Jesus, that's my C seven. Let all heaven, just F minor, and earth proclaim. I'm gonna go way up here to an E major. Proclaim. Then E seven to finish it up. That's a whole step. Into an A major chord. Key. verse to go to D, I need an A major chord over C sharp. And we play the same structure, moving everything up a whole step. So the rules still apply for the major sevens and sevens. So Jesus, just a D major chord, then D major seven, I'll flat that a half step. Jesus, everything else stays the same in the chord. Jesus. There's just something, it's a G chord, and a G minor over C, about that name, and it finishes up on an A major chord. The next page, it's master, same deal, going to the D major 7, savior, then to the D7, Jesus, and we're going to an E major 
record now. Like the fragrance in an E7 after the E minor rain. Finish up on A7. And again, Jesus. Every time we get to Jesus, it's going to make this move. Jesus. Jesus. Let all hell. Earth, G minor, Earth, Pro. Now we're going to go, again, we're breaking all the rules of, of theory here with this song. Proclaim, which is that F sharp chord, which is made up of F sharp, G sharp, or I'm sorry, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. And then we walk that to a seven. So you can walk that down. Then the next line, Kings, is a B major chord, which we haven't used a bunch, but it's B, D sharp, and F sharp. Kings, and, and it's like B7, so that's a whole step. Kingdoms will E major all pass away. But there's just something E minor. About A7, which I'm just doing that same thing. That name tag back to the E minor. There's just something about A7. That name. And that gets it.